Hello and welcome to another video by ATC. In today's video we are going to discuss about why do passengers board all large aircraft through the left side only. Boarding a flight can be a relentless process from waiting at gate to finding the correct seat. What many may not have realized is that when boarding the airplane it is always from the left side of the plane. But of course many of you may have noticed but why the left side only? Why not the right side? Is it because of the design of the airplane or because of the design of the airport gates or because of the civil aviation regulations or does history have some weird connection with this as uh, everywhere else or is it because we have left hand driving system? So let's roll to find out. This has become an established convention that goes unquestioned these days that all the modern jet airliners board the passenger from left side. But it dates back to the early days of aviation. How can we forget these guys? Or even dates back centuries to traditional maritime custom. The reasoning goes back to ships. Ugh, this is a ship. Yes, ships. Ships are the most similar thing to aircraft that existed before them. So it made sense that aviation took over many terms and conventions from seafaring. Like the pilot in command is called captain, the cockpit is called flight deck, distances and speeds are given in nautical miles and knots etc. Orientation or sides that is port left and starboard right side are another conventions along with many maritime traditions and customs adopted by civil aviation. In the very early days of nautical travel, before standard mounted tillers, ships were steered by a steering oar mounted on the right side of the ship. Hence, right side was also called as steer board side. To allow the ships to tie up alongside a port, without the steering oar becoming jammed, the ship would dock with its left side against the port. So with the time, that left side became the standard side facing toward the port and was termed as port side. And it is said that the side where steering board was mounted became steer board side and with the pronunciation error over the time, it became finally star board side. The port side was the side used to embark and disembark passengers in ships. So most airplane and jetway designers followed the same convention. In modern day aviation, Aircraft would taxi close to terminal buildings in order to load and unload passengers. The captain sits in the left hand seat of the aircraft and generally captain is tasked with taxi and parking duties. In Boeing 737 and many other aircrafts, the tiller which is used to steer the aircraft on ground is provided on the captain's side only. This is the left side. Also it becomes much easier for pilots sitting on the left hand to judge wing clearance when they approach the terminal on the left side of the aircraft. Once air bridges became common, it was necessary for aircraft builders to set the convention of left side doors in concrete. Therefore, left side door made it more convenient for passengers to transit between aircraft and the terminal, as well as safer than having to circle around the aircraft. Some early transports had right side doors into the passenger's cabin but the logic of the pilot's field of view prevailed. Like if you are taxing sitting on the left, it would be impossible to look right wing tip clearance or ground obstructions from the right window, but the same task would obviously be convenient from the left side. With the course of time, aeroplane and airport manufacturers have standardized this historic habit. Otherwise it would have been too confusing, right? So after it was standardized that passengers would board aircraft from left side only, the right side of the plane became the service side of the aircraft. On 737, the two cargo holds are accessed from the right. The location of ground power receptacle is on the right, the fueling panel is on the right, wing and water servicing panel is on the right and the airport service equipment is parked in a bay to the right. Hence, you board from left as this area can be kept free from any danger to passengers in the form of obstructions or the movement by the servicing vehicles and over time it has just become a standard. 
air bridges will come from the left and the ramp will be set up with passengers in mind from the left. Certainly on 737. If you look next time you fly, you will notice that door you enter from the left is lot larger than the door on the right as we never use those doors for embarking or disembarking. Though small aircrafts have doors on both sides and both sides can be used to board or deboard as it doesn't make any difference due to small size and minimal servicing required for the aircraft. But as we talk about bigger airplanes, this starts making difference. Then you would need to have bigger airports that could accommodate left and right boarding airplanes. Airports would need more gates as maximum utilization would be lower. They would be more expensive to build, take up more space and that wouldn't make any sense, would it? So I hope by now you would be knowing the answer to our question that why we board airliners from the left side only. I hope you would have enjoyed the video and would have gained some knowledge about the procedures which no one bothered to discuss about. So don't keep the knowledge to yourself guys. Remember knowledge increases by sharing. So share this video with your friends and groups. If you have any other question or doubt like this and if you want me to make another video about that topic then please comment down below. I will try to explain your queries in best possible way. Remember, no question is a stupid question, only the answers can be stupid. So keep on asking questions and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Till then, think against gravity. Thank you for watching video and being with ATC. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive more future notifications and updates. If you enjoyed this video then please hit the like button and also share the channel and videos to your friends and groups. Comment down below if you have any doubt or query or you can also email me at aeronaut.tc at the gmail.com. For more updates, discussions and study materials which is of course free, please like our Facebook page with the same name Aeronaut Training Center. We are also going to launch our ground classes for Boeing 737, Airbus 320 pre and post type rating courses with simulator trainings and also ground classes for all CPL subjects with entirely different teaching methods never seen or experienced before. Only at Ramphal Chok Dwarka, New Delhi. Happy landings!